A few weeks ago, I visited Scottsdale National Golf Club in sunny Arizona, which can simply be described as a billionaire's playground. Home to two 18-hole golf courses and a nine-hole roller coaster ride of a course aptly named the Bad Little Nine, and a rule book that is a blank page, as you will see from today's golf in attire. Welcome to another episode of Every Single Shot. Everything about this place is quite special. From the accommodation, then it's off to the clubhouse for food and drinks that you would normally associate with a five-star hotel. Fed and watered, a quick stop off at the pro shop where you're reminded of the brand behind this golf mecca and an apparel line for both on and off the fairways is clearly gathering momentum. Last stop is the practice facilities, which, like everything else you experience at Scottsdale National, is world class. So we're good to go and onto the first tee with my caddy for the day, Aaron, ready to help out when called upon. This was my last day of the trip and although starting to tire a little, I was determined to get one last round in with a full bag of PXG Gen 5 before my flight home later that day. And I'm pleased to say we got one right down the middle, a decent start and uh, yeah, happy to be underway. So 146 uphill, I play eight iron and uh, the flag is at the front. I uh, played this yesterday and went long and there's no way of getting up and down from the back. And uh, yeah, I made the mistake of coming up short this time round. This one's nestled down. For those interested, this is a Sugar Daddy 2 Wedge 58. I can't believe how well I got under this one, picked it up and gave myself, well, at least a look at a par. These greens are like lightning, which you'll find out as the day goes on, running 14 on the stimp. Next up is a par five, Aaron points, um, well, makes it quite clear where the drive should be aiming. And as you can see, I pretty much scab one down the left hand side. I got away with this one, to be quite honest with you. If it's a par five, same line again, at that mountain top in the, uh, in the backdrop. This time we hit it bang on using a hybrid, which left again, a three wood in, um, quite a distance still, obviously the tee shot was pretty poor. We leaked this one just a little bit outright. As you can see, quite a fluffy lie. I don't mind the way this one looks, but um, it's pretty tricky. Not a lot of green to work with. Played a 58 wedge, popped it up quite nice, but you'll see a stare at this one for a long time because, uh, well, this ball's never dead on these greens. But again, really happy with where this one's come to rest. Gave me a little look at a par after a pretty poor drive. Can we roll it in? The answer to that is unfortunately not, but a decent roll with the putter, but that's a bogey and uh, one over. Right, 178, five iron. Pin is on the right hand side of the green. There's a big slope from left to right if you can find the tier, which I did. And again, came up nice and uh, left 10 foot for birdie. You just can't be really bold at these puts and you've got to kind of look to drop them in at dead weight um, and obviously get that line right and uh, well i didn't get either but a comfortable par three still one over so another par five 520 yards drivers out a much more solid strike the line is at those bunkers the first one it clears comfortably and then runs on quite significantly into the middle of the fairway this is three wood you can see the flag in the distance um Almost got a chance of getting up in two, and I did a damn good job of getting pretty close. But then where this comes to rest is a real awkward one. There's a severe slope just over that brow. As you'll see from this putt, goes over the fringe. Starts to gather pace, but then also starts to drift down the left-hand side as well. But don't forget, this one gives us a decent look at birdie from 10 foot. Aaron's give me the line just slide that one by really disappointed it was a good effort but we walk away with a par and remains one over after four holes you met with what's called a comfort station and that's uh, well that underplays it significantly like everything else it's surreal there's everything you could wish for in terms of choice of your snack 
from ice creams, cold drinks, nuts, whatever, and then a full menu that you can order and have someone bring it down to you on the golf course. Anyway, next up, hole five, 433 yards. Got the driver going again, right down the middle, position A. And you can see flag in the distance there with a good solid five iron. I just leaked it a tad out to the right and left myself on the fringe of the green. Now again, you've got the sort of, you've got to get yourself over that rise, but as soon as you do that, the green is running away. So it's got to be so delicate with a 58 wedge. I flicked it up quite nice, but didn't manage to get the sort of second tier of the, uh, on the green there and sort of pitched into the rise of it a little bit, another yard or two, and this would have been stone dead. Instead, you've got a tricky little putt that you're fearful of yet again. I'm just rolling this one too quick and aggressively. Got a decent line and a decent roll. Really happy with the way I'd sort of uh, putted that. And as you can see, pretty much a tapping. And we, uh, but we slip back into bogey and two over. Right, 158, I'm going eight iron. I'm starting to swing a little bit here now, loosened up a little, and this was such a good iron shot, but you'll see when we get down to the green, I got a wicked bounce to the right, which takes me way off to this right-hand side. Huge slope, you can sort of see the shadows in the green. Show the severity of it as well, sloping from right to left quite significantly. And you'll see just how significantly where you see where this ball finishes up. Yeah. Yeah, it's still going. It's still going. And we're quite a distance from the hole for par after what was a really decent tee shot. So now again, you've got to sort of get your head around the fact that, you know, we're now putting uphill. But again, it's that sort of fear factor that just has you a little bit worried and you lay off it a little bit and there's a real horrible one for six foot to try and grab a bogey. So seventh at just 385, up to play three wood. I was told to keep it down that uh, left-hand side if we can. As you can see from the glance behind, I was a little worried we were too tight, but we just about got away with this one. Left just a flick in of uh, just over 60 yards. 58 wedge, nice and easy picked up. And you'll see very shortly, we throw this one sort of pin high. Stayed on the right side of the hole, which is the safe side. But again, all about pace. You can see I've hardly got that ball rolling. And uh, even that carries on just past the hole. But fortunately, we roll it in. That's another par on the card. So next up is another par five. It's time to uh, open the shoulders a little. And whilst I'm not hitting the ball brilliant right now, I'm sort of um, I'm making the most of what I've got, which is always way I like to play golf if I'm not playing that great it's a way of getting the ball around and trying to make a score that was a five iron again it's a par five don't forget it's all about position I left it in good nick now just a wedge in hand and again not overly familiar with yardages or what I would play with these uh, wedges so came after that one a little bit only a yard or two short really um, but as you can see quite a severe bunker lip to uh, negotiate which I did really well. I can't see where this ball has come to land at that point. I got too much, uh, too much crap. Caddy's pretty pleased, offered to throw me the ball, but I said, no, no, this is YouTube. I need to finish these things off. Otherwise, questions are asked. You know what you like. So last all of the day, it was a par three, and it's just 135 yards. It's a really guidey shot, as you see, legs all over the place there. Uh, not a great tee shot to finish. And unfortunately, I ended up plugged in the bunker. But this is really interesting. You can see the flag is on the right of the screen, but the arrow that I've got pointing is, uh, well, left and high. We're aiming up the bank is the caddy's suggestion. So I really have to sort of dig this one out. The idea is to play it up the bank, it gathers pace, and then rolls right down towards the flag. You'll see our head starting to turn to the right. It's gathering pace and making its way down towards the flag. And then, yeah, my tripod decides to fall over and misses this ball come to rest, which was an absolute genius shot. But we couldn't make the most of it. Another putt missed and, unfortunately, a, uh, a bogey to finish off the nine. And that takes us to four over. 
but all things considered I'm more than happy with the way that panned out. So Aaron did a great job in getting me round and with not the best swing in the world on the day I managed to negotiate four over and I think uh, from the way I was playing from the way I was swinging I think I want to be more than happy with that and we're on to the back nine and see where we end up at this round at Scottsdale National. That's going to be tomorrow night so I'll see you all then and see what we finish up with 18-0 score at Scottsdale National Golf Club. Thanks for watching.